Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today on Jim's Garage Toys, I am going to be installing some of the lights on the rear reflectors on my GR Corolla. So I've got these guys right here that I'm going to install. Um, and I'm going to show you why you don't have to worry about spending extra money on a plug and play kit and how easy these are to install and save yourself some dough. So with that being said, let's get rolling. I already positioned the car. I backed it up onto my race ramps. Um, not that you have to do that. You can do this without um, ramps or jacks or anything. You can do it flat on the ground. It's not a problem. I've actually helped others do that already. Um, but I did this way just so I have a little extra room down in here. And then I'm also, when I'm working on the wiring, this right here is kind of at my level. Um, I'm tall, I'm 6'2", so if I don't have to hunch over to be working on things, that much better. So as we get started here, I want to thank you for joining me. Please, if you like these kind of videos, subscribe, like, share them with anybody else. And uh, with that, we'll start disassembling here. To give you a quick overview, what is going to be happening is the taillights have to come off so that the wiring from the new lights can run from here up to the taillights and that's where we're going to <coughs> hook them into. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get under here and gain access to behind this so that I can get this. There's one screw and there's a couple of clips so we can just pop this out real quick. Once we have access to that, run the wires up. It'll take a few minutes after we pop the headlight off and make the connections. So let me get what I need to get to get this off. I do have the rear spats on it from the Extreme Online Store. Um, they absolutely fit amazing and look great. <clears throat> so I need to see if I need to take these off first to get access, I don't remember, but I'll get my eyeballs under here and we'll find out. Here I am underneath and there are three clips. There's one there. I guess four clips. There's one there. There's two here. There's one over here. Now, there are some screws, some self-tapping screws that line, that feed this in, and I'm not a hundred, I don't think, this is moving, so I don't think that those screws, I think they just go into the lip of the bumper under here and not this piece, so let's go ahead and pop these out and see if I can move this like I need to. As these get older, they do get more rigid, so it's good to have some spares, which I do, just in case. And sometimes they get to the point where they don't really want to slide in and out right here, or the inner piece and the outer piece, and this one's getting stiff. See, I just, I did just get it to pull out a little bit more, but it's getting stiff. So it might be time to slap a new one. And it looks like I've already done that to this. This one looks fresher, but who knows? Oh, ha, it just broke. And that will happen sometimes too. Well, the head will break off. So again, good to have spares. Okay, now that one actually, that one actually worked the best still, and that's what should happen. Pops out, and then the whole thing can slide out. 
There we go. And that one worked as what we needed it. Okay, so there we go. You can see how the whole thing is releasing here. This side, this is the passenger side I'm doing first. It also has the little tube right here for the battery. That's the drainage for the battery. Okay, and now I have access right here to the, to the light. So there's the back of the light and you can see there's a little Phillips head screw right there with two tabs. So undo the Phillips head screw and kind of push the tabs and the light, the reflector, I guess, I keep calling it a light, the reflector will just pop right out. You do not need to remove this piece right here. So don't, don't do more work than you have to do. So it just rotates right out of the way and gives you access to the reflector. Once you undo the screw, and I just use a little stubby Phillips head, and then push on the tabs. The top tab you push down, and the bottom tab you push up, and then this will just pop right out. Now they make these in both red and smoke. They come in, so it's your choice. I personally like the red. It ties in with the red tail lights. The one thing that we have to do is looking at this, you can see where the, the wires are. The wires are halfway between the, the top clip and the screw. And then there is right here. So here's the screw and here's the hole. So we want to go ahead and drill a small hole right here just so we can fish the wires through to the inside before we clip that in. Now what I am doing is I am installing a small O-ring Just so it gives a little extra protection there to the wire. And I'll show you here. So you can see that. Look at that. So, nice little one little extra step, but having the And the extra protection for the wiring, I think, is well worth that. I can just feed this. There we go. So the clips are in. Still got to put the screw on it. And I'll do that after I get the wiring done and we verify everything's working on it. The next step of this process is you want to pop off this plastic trim and it does just pop out. So. There we go. And there we go. That ends up exposing these two 10 millimeter bolts. And we want to get, so I get my best friend here. There we go. So those are out. Now this is ready to come, come out. There is a clip on the outer side right here that kind of is like in an angle like this. So it needs to be pulled this way 
and this way at the same time. <clears throat> so if you kind of get yourself and brace yourself. There we go. You just do it slowly, then it comes out nice and easy. Then we want to remove the remove the clips. What you want <clears throat> is you want this clip right here that has the three wires, red, blue, and black. And that's what we're going to hook into. You can use whatever you want to fish these down through. I find that uh, my little grabber, my little grabber works quite well in this case. Let's so clip that on. Pull this up, and there's our wire. So for these connections, I'm going to be using this little gadget right here, where I simply <clears throat> lay the wire into it. Close it and clamp down over it. There we go. What this does is it bites through the covering, bites through the covering on the wiring, and then I'll attach this male piece and it slides over this. To make the connection. Pretty slick. Nice and easy. This is why you don't need to buy any kind of wiring harness. I mean, it's just, there's just no need for it. Insert the wire, make sure you squeeze down tightly so it closes the clamp and then test so that one's got a good <clears throat> seal on that all right let's make the connections now so we got red to red we got black to black White to blue. <clears throat> As you can see, we have success. So now when the parking lights are on, or the headlights are on, those will be on too. So, look great. They look up better in person than they do even in the, through the camera that I'm looking at. They're a lot more defined. So that is wired in, so let me go ahead and tidy up all the wiring, and then we'll put the tail light on, and this side will be done. I've got a little bit of split loom here. And I'm just going to <clears throat> feed it down through there just to give the wire some some protection. So I did a small piece of tape just to kind of lock the three wires together and more strength in numbers. There we go. <clears throat> now I can go ahead and put the 
tail light back on. I think I'm gonna wipe this area down before I do that. Now, we just need to make our connections. And this one. There we go. Look at that. Make that, and right away the tail light is glowing. The wiring for the light here is all, oh, they're all kind of aimed right down to slide right down in there. So that's really nice. So I'll stick on the, stick over this, this clip right here, this green clip. Slide that one over first and then just kind of push into place and let it go. So <clears throat> now we got our two 10 millimeter. These go into plastic. So do not over tighten them. it's nice and secure <clears throat> you are set tail light works and so is our new light <clears throat> so then I can take this piece and snap this back on all I gotta do now is Replace the Phillips screw that holds it in. I grab some extra clips. And we'll get all done. Feel yeah, that's all nice and snug. <clears throat> and this is great. I can see the wire loom comes down and protects the wire almost all the way. So that was a good close guesstimate. And now we'll just go ahead and shift our shield right back into place. And the only thing you gotta do on this side is you gotta make sure that you feed the drain tube through. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. So one side is done. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. I can record that whole side. It'll be the same process. And then I'll show the final results on both sides. So I thought I would show you real quick here before I button up this side how that looks up under there. You can see the the wire loom over the wires and going right into it. So that's what it looks like from the back. And uh, we're all done. Finish the other side too. So get up and I'll show you. Both sides working, looking good. Yeah, loving it. Well, I hope that helps you guys. For anybody interested in doing it, like I said, you do not need to buy wiring harnesses. It's so easy to do. It's just nice and simple, straightforward. Why spend more than twice as much with a plug and play harness when this works so, so well. So thanks for joining me. I hope this helps out everybody. And until next time, guys, we'll see you down the road. for a little ending shot there. Gotta love it.